Hey everybody, so today we have Kirk Wright here with us today. Uh, Kirk, would you briefly introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm a filmmaker and actor from Los Angeles, California. Uh, I've been uh, working in the music business for a long time and now working in film. Uh, and uh, happy to be here at, at the uh, festival. Okay, wow. Yeah, so is, is this your first time in Maryland? It is. I, you know, I was here as a kid okay. uh, going to Washington, D.C. and surrounding areas, but I haven't been here in many, many years. So it's like a new experience. Well, welcome to Maryland. Welcome to the state. And Thank you. Thank hope you enjoy the next couple of days. Uh, so for our audience, um, could you briefly tell us what type of projects you've been working on and how did you get started in the film business? Ah, okay. Um, actually, I got started in the film business as an actor originally. Okay. Uh, I was in several films and then I started getting curious about making films myself. So I made a film uh, that was filmed at the Magic Castle recently, which uh, played at the festival. It's called Rope Trick. Uh, filmed in part at the Magic Castle in Hollywood, and it's, a, it's an art house film, as, as, as fate would have it, even before I was aware of this festival or anything. Um, that particular film is in the art house genre, where you take a character, uh, put him in a situation. Uh, it's about a magician who um, has the tables turned on him uh, by a beautiful woman who's, who's on the scene, and uh, she leads him down a, a pathway of discovery, and uh, uh, it's an interesting film. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy that they screened it here. It's, it's the type of thing that, that fits right into the theme. Okay. Um, what was your background then? How did you become an actor? So did you study film at all? Or? Oh, yeah. I went through UCLA uh, as a, in the, through the MFA program. I have an MFA in UCLA uh, in film and television. And I was there as a writer. So uh, while I was there, I won the Jack Nicholson Award for screenwriting. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I was always, uh, always a musician and always in bands. Okay. So once I got into LA, I joined the band and spent a lot, many years doing that. And then I came back to film, uh, which I was originally trained for. So. So what, what, what type of music were you um, initially getting into? Oh, all kinds. You know, there was all kinds of things going on in Los Angeles. So uh, just, uh, you know, rock and roll, basically. Rock and roll. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So I had hair down to here. It was a little different <laughs> in those days. <laughs> wow. yeah. um, so in terms of um, for the next three days, what are yes. some of the things that you're expecting and what are you trying to accomplish by, by this film festival? Well, I'm really excited about the panels that are happening tomorrow. Um, in addition to all the great films that are being shown here, uh, we have a couple of panels all about art house films, the reemergence of art house films, and how they are figuring into the world of filmmaking now. Um, and I think it's going to be some very interesting and informative panels. There's some really great panelists uh, that will be there from all around the world talking about the reemergence of the art house film genre. And it's a very exciting time to be making movies right now. Uh, well, so, yeah, I think that's all the questions I have, briefly, Great. really Thank brief, um, just getting to know you a little bit. And awesome. Awesome, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah.